do. Well, guys, and the thing is, it already has. Four homes were raised to make this proposed parking lot a reality. And tonight, the Planning Commission voted to recommend the City Council approve a rezoning request to make this lot a reality. Plans to build a parking lot near the Kirchhoffel Business District in Gross Point Park are rolling forward. The Planning Commission voted to recommend the rezoning of these four parcels on Weyburn and Maryland Streets where homes stood just weeks ago. Are we really going to trade families for a few cars for a few hours a week? People living in Gross Point Park say the parking lot will tank property values, drive up the chances accidents occur, and attract rodents dumpsters would back up to neighboring homes. Definitely not something I want to walk outside and smell while I'm trying to do my gardening. Bell Teasdale and Devin Stahecki live next door to the proposed parking lot and say they received no notice when the two homes next to them were demolished to make way for it a couple of weeks ago. They woke up to the sound of excavators. There was like no proper fencing put up or anything. It was really scary. I have some videos that it was so close to us and our house was shaking. Reps for the Cotton family, which is behind the development, told the commission the lot will be attractively landscaped and that additional parking is desperately needed. The business district in the Kirchhoff area is flourishing. Uh, there have been new businesses. It is the place to be in Gross Point for family activities. I drove through the downtown district uh, on the way here and there was plenty of parking on a Thursday night at prime time. The parking lot plan is taking shape in the Cabbage Patch neighborhood, which has long served lower income families as an entry point into the Gross Point community. It is critical to bring families into this city if you want to build a thriving community. With the loss of that housing, we're potentially losing half a dozen families who could live here and send their kids to our schools and grow up as members of our great community. Some residents urged Mayor Michelle Hodges, who's on the Planning Commission, to recuse herself from voting. She heads up the Belle Isle Conservancy. A member of the Cotton family is on the board of directors. It's been ruled that I don't have a conflict of interest, that I do have a duty to vote on this matter. And Mayor Hodges voted in favor of this rezoning request. It now goes before City Council for final approval. They will meet on October 17th. And guys, I'll tell you what, this is likely won't be the last time that this issue comes before the city. The Cotton family is uh, planning to, looking rather, to tear down some other homes in the area to make way for more parking lots. Reporting live from Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge.